Well, in more local news, Professor Gihan Amarthunga, the head of electronics, power and energy conservation at the University of Cambridge, says that the type of products Sri Lanka exports should have more technology and knowledge-based content. The Professor of Engineering expressed this view at the Arthur C. Clarke Memorial Lecture, which was held at the BMICH in Colombo last evening. The lecture was held under the theme Value Creation for Economic Development Through Technology. A distinguished gathering including the Minister of Technology, Research and Atomic Energy, Patali Champika Ranavaka, was present for the Arthur C. Clarke Memorial Lecture. The lecture was delivered by Professor of Engineering and Head of Electronics, Power and Energy Conservation at the University of Cambridge, Professor Gehan Amratunga. Uh, I think 60% of our exports are classified as light industrial products. So we're already on an industrial path. However, the type of products we export has to have more technology and knowledge-based content. Now, for example, IT, electronics, nanotechnology, biotechnology, advanced manufacturing, and intellectually based, intellectual property-based enhancements to export products have to be included in the portfolio of products which we export out of Sri Lanka. And just to put that in context, um, the fraction of advanced technology-based exports, if one looks at South Korea and Taiwan. Taiwan is a good example, an island of 20 million people. It's about 90% advanced technology-based exports out of their exports. Malaysia is at 50%, Thailand at 20%, and in Sri Lanka we're at 2%.